Inevitably, conversations about the chief economist of the Tasmanian Chamber of Commerce and Industry end up with questions about his age and experience. Richard Dowling himself admits his youthful looks could pass for that of an 18-year-old. But as Fiona Breen reports, he wants people to get over first impressions and listen to his messages, some of which are directed squarely at the Tasmanian government. He loves to bushwalk with girlfriend Linda Vumard, lives in a share house, likes footy and is tech savvy, all typical of Gen Y. On Monday morning, the casual gear is swapped for a smart suit and tie and Richard Dowling becomes the very youthful public face of the Tasmanian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Given we're in the midst of the, a global economic crisis, there's an enormous opportunity to, do, to implement economic reform that doesn't have a major budget impact. Unfortunately, this situation has arisen because we acted too slowly and we allowed our budget to grow to an unsustainable position. I'm in one of those great jobs where uh, what I do at work is something I'm interested in anyway. Some people might say that's a bit nerdy, but uh, for me, I have, I have great fun actually engaging in, in uh, the economic debates anyway. And the things I read about, the things I study at work, they're things I'll be looking at anyway, even if I was doing something completely different. At just 25, he represents 2,800 Tasmanian businesses, lobbying government and other stakeholders for them. He's working hard to build an image and get away from the kid tag. I've heard all the jokes now, Prince Harry, or tell that kid to give his dad's suit back. Uh, I'm used to that now, and it really is water for ducks back. His public profile has grown since the controversial departure of Craig Simon, who lasted just three days as chief executive. Oh, I bought a new suit and some new ties. That uh, I mean, but I'm not not too concerned about image. Um, what I'm concerned about is the ideas putting forward. But obviously, when you're out in front of the camera uh, and you might only get a five second grab, image matters sometimes. So I want to make my age a less as issue as I possibly can neutralise that so I can uh, focus on the ideas that I'm putting forward. For a man who lists economics as a hobby as well as a job, he took a while to get into it, first dabbling in science, law and politics. By accident I, I stumbled into an economics class and from that moment it, it sort of intrigued me. It was the first class I'd sat in and the moment I left I want to go away and read more about it. I, I was straight on onto Google trying to find out everything I knew about, about economics. Yeah. The way people act and react intrigues him. It can tell you a lot about the way people interact in the workplace, uh, with their local shopkeeper, and, and the way people think about their future and uh, looking after their family and their welfare. Uh, and economics can drive you towards understanding the way people behave in certain circumstances. A member of the Labor Party since his teens, his party ties have raised eyebrows. I'm not a party political animal in any sense. In fact, I, I have the role I have now has actually created a lot more tensions with, with that party, so uh, I, I'm probably not even uh, that welcome these days. A love of debate fuelled his interest in politics during university. I realised over time that you don't need to be in politics to make a difference. In fact, the people that make most difference in society aren't, aren't people in politics. They're people out there getting on with business he still holds a small flame for public office, although he claims it's almost extinguished. I have no interest, uh, or very little interest now, and it's a waning interest in actually being a member of, uh, of a political party or, or wanting to be active in politics. Instead, Richard Dowling is getting his fix of debate through the TCCI, and he's not holding back. We released a report about six months ago uh, that we commissioned by some experienced economist, uh, Professor Sinclair Davidson. One of the key conclusions of that, which confirmed our, our suspicions, was that the government was living beyond its means. At the time, that was a very unpopular position we took, and we, we copped a range of criticism fr from the likes of Saul S. Lake and the government and, and a lot of other play significant players in Tasmania. However, s since that time, we've actually uh, had received a lot less criticism and people actually coming around to the views now that uh, that we expressed six months ago are actually come home to roost. His current agenda is tougher cuts to the public service and getting the 150,000 Tasmanians on Centrelink payments, training and skills. 
He believes the twin aims will help Tasmania shrug off its reliance on the national economy through GST payments. You can barely scrape by, as we know, on, on government benefits. So let, let's equip these people with the skills for the 21st century so they can become active uh, citizens who can support themselves and grow the Tasmanian economy for the good of everyone. It's these policy ideas Richard Dowling wants people to focus on, not his age. I'm not concerned too much about what, what people say about me. I am concerned about what they say about the ideas that I've expressed on behalf of the TCCI. And in that front, you get very little criticism.